Okay, Math 225, Cal 1, your exam 2. Let's look at an example like question number 10. So there's all these properties of indefinite integrals, and some of the things to note when you're looking at these is look at the lower and upper limits. Okay, so this interval here goes from A to A. So hopefully that should make sense why that would be zero. Okay, there's moving from A to A, no area. In this piece here, it's showing how you can actually split up. So from A to B, you can go from A to C and then C to B and add those together will be the same area. We can negate the integral by flipping our intervals here. We can pull a constant out front and then, of course, we can separate our sums or differences. So if you're given, you're given two functions, f, of, f and g are continuous, and we're given these integrals. So from f of x dx from 1 to 2 is negative 4, from 1 to 5, so keep an eye on the a and b intervals. Remember, this is b, this is a. And notice this is a different function. All right, so the first one they ask you to find g of x from 2 to 2. Well, we just saw that that was one of our properties, okay, that would be an area of 0. If we want to look at g of x, so we're looking right here, but notice our a and b flipped that becomes the negative, okay, so now the negative of 5 to 1 g of x dx, where in this case just simply becomes the negative of the value 8. Next. We go from 1 to 2, f of x, looks like that's this one here. This is simply our constant that can be brought out front and then multiplied by negative 4, and thus we get negative 2. f of x from 2 to 5. Well, I don't see a 2 to 5. However, I think maybe I could use from 1 to 5, so, so think about this. If you're going from 1 to 5 and you subtracted out the 1 to 2 piece, wouldn't that be your 2 to 5? Hey, looks like it is. So in other words, what I'm saying is the 1 to 5 minus the 1 to 2 being subtracted out and that gives me the 1 to 5, which is 6, minus my 1 to 2, negative 4, and I get 10. The last example here is just simply using, so I look like I'm using this 1 to 5 integral, and I am going to use f of x and g of x and simply just subtract these values. So I see 6 minus 8, and I get my negative 2. So it's important to understand these properties because now once you, once you have these properties down, you can just flip things around and use them based on the information that you're given.